Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm really, the reason why I'm hammering home on each one of these points is because this happens every day across America. Yes. Uh, we have thousands of people, uh, uh, you know, just in Tulsa every day buying things at any given time, mm -hmm. and they have mistakes and things mm -hmm. that happen. And there's a lot of business owners doing wrong things. Mm -hmm. And so what I wanted to do is take just a moment to um, list an example of things I've done wrong. And I thought maybe you could then hammer home on why that was wrong and what I should have done, okay? <laughs> okay. So I had the customer who called me and said, you're, you're a disc jockey, ruined my daughter's wedding. And I looked at the, I said, well, let me pull up your file real quick. I want to find out what's going on. So I thought, I did that okay. I pull up their file and I look and I have saw the customer service notes. Person refused payment for deposit. Person was late for this. Person was, so I realized that this person has had some issues, like a lot of issues. And there's more things in the file that, were written and so I figured so I came back and I was like well I know you think that we ruined their wedding but really what we did was and I started kind of doing the arguing thing Ooh. Ooh. I got myself yeah, in a little yeah, I got myself a little, little, little lawsuit little letter you yeah, know saying uh, I ruined their reception uh, sort of uh, thing uh, uh. why is it wrong to argue with the customer and explain to them how you're right because I knew they were and I, even to this day I know they were wrong but now looking back at it, I go you know what I was wrong for saying that but why it's so tempting it's so tempting to try to prove to them that you're right and they're wrong, but ultimately that gets you what the little boy shot at, nothing. 